On 26 June 1882, the SS Helios, a ship named after the Greek sun god, docked at the Colombo Harbour, and it was the first time people in Ceylon, or at least in Colombo, witnessed electric light. As the story goes, it did not take long after for Colombo to go electric. In 1893, the Colombo Club on the Gore Face became the first establishment to adopt this new source of power. Shortly afterwards, the Bristol Hotel lit up its billiard room with its first electric bulb, taking Sri Lanka's relationship with electricity back almost 140 years. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing. Through war, drought, flooding and economic crises, the Sri Lankan public has come to be very familiar with power plant breakdowns, transmission failures and resulting power cuts no matter which garment is in power. So how much power do we actually produce and how? Sri Lanka uses three primary sources of power to generate electricity. Thermal power which uses energy from biomass, coal and fuel oil, hydropower which uses water, and alternative renewables energy sources such as solar and wind. Of these three sources, hydroelectricity is the oldest and principal source of power generation in the country, though not the largest. At present, there are 10 large hydroelectric power stations in operation, the single largest hydroelectric source being the Victoria Dam on the Mahaveli River. According to data made available by the Ceylon Electricity Board, electricity generated through hydropower contributes 44.6% of the total power to the country's national grid. However, Sri Lanka's largest power generation is through thermal power stations. At present, there is only one coal-fired power station in the country, the Lakwijaya power plant at Norachole in the northwestern province. This plant has the capacity to generate 900 megawatts of electricity. In addition, there are 10 oil-fired power stations located around the country, with the capacity of generating 14 to 360 megawatts of energy, contributing a massive 47.41% of power to the national grid. Besides thermal and hydroelectric power stations, the country recently established a solid waste fired power station and four solar power stations in the country. In addition to these, there are 16 wind power stations scattered across the island. However, their contribution to the national grid currently stands at a minimal 2.7%. However, this might change in the long run, with successful governments in the past decade looking into more sustainable and renewable energy generation, Sri Lanka's electrical needs might look vastly different in the near future. Light hour, Light hour,